Picking up from where I left off yesterday. Just heading to the boss now. Now I did I did mention a couple of times over the last few parts of this playthrough that there's been a strain of flu going around. And it seems to have just hit me overnight. So not feeling my best at the moment. It makes it a bit hard to uh, concentrate on things with my head being as cloudy as it is. So if I make any really stupid mistakes, I'm just gonna put it down to that. <clears throat> okay. So coming up to the bell gargoyles now. Now I won't really need solar here. But he'll make a nice little distraction while I get the tail axe drop. It is also possible to summon Lord Trek for this fight as well. His summon sign if you have left him alive and released him from his cell. Uh, as you climb up the f first ladder, just outside the boss area here, it will be close to the wall on the opposite side. Okay. And that's the gargoyles dealt with. As you could see from the damage I was dealing with my halberd plus five, having solar there wasn't really necessary. But I got a sunlight medal from it, so I can feed that to Framp later for 200 souls. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is learn a particular gesture. Coming. And I'm sure you've all seen that one before at some point. Okay, so if I just use the homeward bone to get back to that bonfire. And now I can afford to buy the Crest of Artorias, so my next stop will be the forest. I uh, made a mistake with the uh, name of these enemies in part 3. They're, I think I called them Demon Bush. Uh, it's actually Demon Foliage. The uh, official name for them. Not that it's uh, overly important or anything, but I just thought I'd correct myself on that before someone else does. Alright, so coming up to the Forest Covenant now. <laughs> now, there are a few ways of dispatching the NPCs that are here, and there's three that don't respawn out of the NPCs, so early on it is a pretty decent farming area. 
so the option I'm going for for getting rid of them is just to kick them off the edge another method is on the other side of these stairs there's a very narrow ledge that you can stand behind and what happens is the NPCs will run up the stairs and try to get to you and about 90% of the time when they try and drop down onto the ledge with you they fall off the edge the only problem with using that method though is that sometimes the NPCs will sort of approach you and start running towards the stairs then they'll just stop and turn around and start making their way back to their original position which can be quite annoying A bit of an interesting tidbit of information for you. How many NPCs in the forest are male and how many are female, do you think? The bandit, the thief and the sorcerer are all males. Surprisingly the knights are actually female. You will, on the uh, Dark Souls wiki dot, there's an image of one of the knights at least, and even though they are partially invisible because of the fog ring that they have equipped, it is hard to make out whether they are male or female. It's even harder with the knights just due to the armor. But yeah, if you uh, jump on Dark Souls with you dot and have a look for enemies in the forest, it will actually tell you which ones are male and which ones are female. I meant to kick then. Okay, so coming up to the last NPC. This is the one that has the black bar of Faris. Uh, normally when you approach her she will just back off and start going towards the edge no, Okay, she's just not having any of it today No, of course not Normally this is over within 10 seconds at the very most, but no, of course not, not today, not when I'm actually sick. The only time when the game actually has a chance of being able to kill me. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to where she was standing, quit and reload. Ok, 
Okay, so Black Rose Forest, and Twin Humanities, and Forest's Hat. No, I'm not going to be joining the Forest Hunter Covenant just yet. But there are a few things of interest in the forest. This being one of them. There's also a farming area for gold pine resin here. And these two giant mushrooms have a guaranteed drop. And the baby mushrooms that are walking around the perimeter of the little pond puddle uh, do also have a chance to drop them, but it does seem quite rare. I'd say that it's probably rarer than uh, titanite chunk drops from Dark Wraiths and New Londo Ruins. just in front of me is the Enchanted Ember which is a great way for intelligent builds to really be able to power up a decent amount early on as you can farm the enemies in the Dark Root base and the crystal golems, they have a chance of a drop in blue titanite chunk. So yeah, for anybody who's wanting to make an intelligence build, this should be one of your first stops. I'm not going to be fighting with the big kitties just yet. But I will be dealing with them a bit later on. Okay, another soul shot down there to get. And then one last thing I want to get from the forest before heading back to the bonfire. And that is the eastern armor set. So I think I might need to change my equipment around a little bit. As the demon foliage in this part of the forest are a bit stronger than the ones that you find just past the prowling demon in the undead parish okay so I'll grab the eastern armor set and then homeward bound out I think I'll need to do an extra few runs through the forest, so I'll do that and then get back after I've finished. Alright, so I did an extra three runs through the forest, picked up some, a few extra gold pine resin while I was at it. And I just wanted enough souls to be able to 
point of Todd's Night Shard to upgrade my scimitar to plus 5 and one of my shields as well while still having enough to buy some extra titanite shard for whatever other upgrades I decide that I want to do and then after this I will head to I'll head to the Capra Demon, I'm just thinking of which way I want to go. I think I'll go through Darkroot Basin. I'll get the Crystal Lizards while I'm at it as well. I think I left the Black Knight in the Undead Berg as well, so as I'm passing through the un uh, Dark, Dark Root Basin and uh, the tower, the watchtower where Havel lives, I'll just stop by and kill the Black Knight before I go after the technically the first crystal lizard you encounter in the game. And then from there I can head to the lower section of the Undead Berg from the Taurus Demon Bridge. Having those two Titanite chunks will come in handy for after I defeat Quailag. One of the things I tend to do on my usual playthroughs when building a new character is to go down to Blighttown first, kill Quailag and ring the bell there, then head up to the Undead Parish and kill the Gargoyle so I can ring the second bell. Well, it's technically the first, but I do things a little bit differently. And then from there, I go to the lower Undead Berg to kill the Capra Demon, so I can access the Large Ember from the depths. After doing that, I open up the shortcut in New Londo Ruins by killing Ingwood, so I can start farming Dark Wraiths for Titanite Chunks. And because both bells are already rung, Fremt is there to break down the chunks into large titanite shards. Obviously getting the very large ember from New Londo Ruins is a given. But what this means is after killing three bosses before even stepping foot into Sen's Fortress I generally have at least one plus 14 weapon, if not two or more. I 
There is also the Stray Demon, which can be killed for a guaranteed Titanite Slam. So, for a guaranteed plus 15 weapon, requires four bosses. Which I'm thinking I could probably do in about half an hour to 45 minutes. I've never actually timed it before, so that might be something for me to look into at some point. Alright, so I'm heading to the Lara and Deadburg now. And one thing I just wanted to bring up quickly is in regards to uh, contacting me. As I mentioned in the last part of this playthrough, it can be pretty difficult getting a hold of me on PSN. So, using any of the links found that I'll put in the description are uh, usually a good way of getting a hold of me, especially yeah, Skype. As I mentioned, I tend to be on a few hours a day, so feel free to add me, and I'll see you next time.